Hello folks, this will be a quick guide to show you how the housing system works in Genshin Impact. It is actually quite simple. To unlock the housing, you need to complete the side quest that starts with Madame Ping in Li Yue. Once you are done, you will get the Serena Teapot, which you can find from your gadget menu. Go ahead and place it down and interact with it to enter your very own home. You will be interacting with Tubby a lot. Your main goal is to get to maximum trust. At higher level trust, you can buy useful non-housing items such as the new transient resin or artifact EXP. You also get 60 primo gems for every trust level. And how do you increase trust? You make more furnishings. The first time you craft a new item, you get more trust depending on the rarity. Our initial goal is to reach trust rank 2 and then 4. The reason why trust rank 2 and 4 are so important is because you can make more items at the same time. At the beginning, I recommend to spend as many vials of Adepto Speed to reach rank 2 and 4. These vials will make whatever you're crafting finish instantly. You get 10 of those every time you gain a trust level from 1 to 4. You can also buy 5 of these every day from the shop with the Realm Currency. Since these are very helpful to speed things up, you should always buy all 5 every day. An easy way to check if you can gain trust by crafting an item is to look at the top right corner of each item icon. If you see the small blue teapot, that means you can gain trust. At the top of the screen, you can also see how much trust you gain. Blue items are worth 60, purples are worth 90, and the green rarities are worth 30. So that's how you gain trust. Now how do you gain realm currency? By placing down the furnitures you crafted or earned. The more furnitures you put down, the more adepto energy you get. If you go to your trust ranking, you can see how much adepto energy is needed for each tier. This will show you how much realm currency you get per hour. So if you are close to reaching the next tier, try your best to get it before you go to sleep at night. You can also get some unique tasks and reward in the housing area. Go ahead and push F6 or click on the teapot icon on the top. This is very similar to the adventurer's journal that Catherine gave you at the beginning of the game. It will give you tasks and milestones to aim towards. And lastly, placing down items to decorate your realm. To access the placement menu, go ahead and click the finger icon on the top or push F7. You can do this on the outside and inside your mansion, and both of them have different item sets. So make sure you put down all the items in both areas. Oh, currently there are also two NPCs that sell you some blueprints. The first one is Master Lu. He is located in Qingxi village. Just go to this location on the map. The second NPC is Goth, and he's located in Mondstadt. If you don't see him when you go to this location, change your game to daytime. He only appears during the day and not at night. And the last important thing to do is to assign visitor permission. When you're inside your teapot, go ahead and push M to open the map, then click on the text on the top right. You should set your permission to allow direct join. This can let visitors check out your teapot even when you're offline. And why would you want people to check out your housing? It can help you craft items faster. If we go back to the creation queue, on the bottom left we see guest assistance. Here you can get the people that visited your realm to help speed up your crafting. At lower trust levels, you should use the realm currencies to buy more blueprints. This way you can get more trust even faster. And that's pretty much it for the housing system. It's pretty simple when you actually look at it. Build furnitures to gain trust. Place down furnitures to gain realm currency, and use the realm currency to buy useful items. If you like these quick guides, then go ahead and subscribe and smash that like button. And as always, thanks for watching, and have fun crafting, traveler.